Hi everybody, Alistair Davis here. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today's video is all about how we hit straight shots and how we can understand ball flight really. So a lot of people misinterpret ball flight all the time. When people come to the lesson tee with me, a lot of lessons will talk about ball flight and they don't really understand how it's created and the importance of the kind of the face relationship to the path. That for me is the key thing. The face is the major part. In an iron shot, the face is responsible for 75% of its journey, this initial starting journey that is, okay? And then obviously the path affects the curvature. And what I'm talking about that is the relationship between the two that creates the curvature, not one in isolation creates anything. If we have a difference between the face and path, that creates a curve or a tilted axis spin on the golf ball. So, if my path is going to the left and my face is going to the right, the ball will start closer to where the face is aimed, but the curvature on the ball is imparted because of the difference between the two. If I swing left and the club face points in the same direction, I'll hit a straight pull shot. If I swing right and the club face points in the same direction, it'll create a straight push shot. The only caveat to this is contact. If I hit the ball off center, the way the clubs are designed with the center of gravity and gear effect and in woods, the ball will respond to that and that'll create a little bit more of deflection off line and also curvature back onto target or past target. So that's an issue too. So contact's important to note. If the contact's good, then the ball flight we're seeing, we should be able to read and get a true understanding of our path and face relationship through contact. So I'm gonna try and demonstrate a shot here where I demonstrate a hook shot to show you the path and face relationship. And then I'm gonna jump across to the putting green. And on the putting green, I'm gonna show you how much that's affected by the face and path relationship. When it comes to putting, we're talking about 90% start line created by the face. When we're talking the driver, 80%. With an iron, like I said, she's about 75%. So let's have a go at a shot. So I'm going to try and hit a big hook shot. So I'm going to try and purposely swing as far to the right as I can. I'm going to aim to the right as well a bit. And I'm going to try and get the club face pointing way left. Now it's a bit of a foggy day here. She so might not pick up the ball flight too clearly. But I'm going to try and produce a ball that starts obviously left of where I'm trying to swing and hooks away. So you get an idea of what's going on. So if I aim what I feel is almost at this tree right in front of me here. I'm going to point the club face kind of left half of the fairway, then retake my grip. And I'm, when I'm swinging the club, I'm also gonna try and feel that club face closes down a little bit too. Let's have a go with that. So I produced a hook shot there. Ball's finished there, just left edge of the fairway. Ball started pretty much at the tree and then curved away quite drastically. Again, when I watch the video back, I'll have a good look, but in theory, my path is gonna be facing to the right of that tree. Again, I tried to swing to the right and the club face is pointing left of the tree. The ball starts, as I said, in between the two, 75% closer to where the face is aimed, and then it'll curve past that point to finish left of target. So the club face is fairly important. So as I said, keep watching, I'm gonna to go to the putting green and I want to demonstrate for you on the putting green some exercises you can do to practice face control. Now you can do the same ex exercises with an iron, but the putter is quite simple to show you how quickly that changes and how quickly that works. Keep watching to find out. Okay, so as we said, over to the putting green now to demonstrate the face and path relationship. So I'm purposely gonna cut across a putt, I'm gonna purposely try and hook a putt. And I'll show you this high speed slow motion images of these as well. And obviously I'll draw a line on the screen so we can look at the start line relevant to our aim line, okay? So I've got a pretty straight putt here. I'm just gonna go ahead here and hit a putt and I'm gonna really try and cut across this but leave the face open as much as I can. And you'll see there that ball went in. So it started right and there's a little bit of break in it right to left that made it come back in. Now on this one, I'm going to try and hook it. So I'm going to swing as far to the right as I can and close that face. Okay. And the main thing you're seeing from these videos is the ball doesn't start as far right as I'm swinging. The face is more important. I get about 90% when it comes to putting. So hopefully you've enjoyed that video on face and path and the understanding, the relationship. If you have, please click like. Also, please share the video if you can. Really appreciate if you can do that.
Chat down below, tell me if you have any questions on either this science side of the golf swing or any other video or any requests for videos, and I'll be glad to get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit my logo down the bottom corner here. Join me on my journey and let's lower your scores and hopefully increase your understanding of the golf swing and the science behind the golf swing also. So thank you for watching. See you again here soon.